Hi, I'm Kelly Nascimento from Kelly's Reading Corner, and today I'm going to show you inside all these awesome books from Usborne Books and More that encourage acceptance and inclusion. If you're excited to see that, please give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I post a new flip-through video every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, so you can get a quick look inside tons of our books. book is called Bears Don't Read and this book is typically talked about as far as perseverance goes like Bear is learning to read and he kind of has trouble and the girl is very patient with him. I wanted to talk about Bears Don't Read as far as acceptance and inclusion goes because Bear finds this book in the forest and he runs off to the town. He wanted to find someone who could teach him how to read. And of course they all judged him by his appearance and the whole town was afraid of him. And then I just love how this girl just totally does not judge him at all for, you know, being a little bit different, being a bear who wants to learn how to read. And so I think this is a good lesson for our kids about acceptance and inclusion. And it's like, hey, it's okay that, you know, you're a bear and, you know, maybe you don't typically read, but you want to read. And so, hey, I'm going to sit with you and I'll help you do that. And if we're talking about autistic kids, you know, often they can, you know, they're going to do things a little bit differently. And so we need little Clementines in the world who are going to, you know, join in and maybe be a little patient with them and, you know, not judge them. Different is a book. It's not like a hardcover with paperback pages like the other ones. So this is great if you have babies or toddlers um, because this has these, um, glossy pages, really strong pages that won't rip. So different is about Flo the Flamingo, who doesn't really join in to play with the other animals because she just feels so different. And I love how simple it is. There's not a lot of words to each page. You need books like this for babies and toddlers that don't have a lot of words on it. So the other animals and birds. Um, they're all being very encouraging, saying that like the parts about flow that are different are so awesome. So this is great for all children to learn that the parts of them that maybe they feel less confident about are awesome in their own way. And then, you know, to recognize that differences in others are also awesome. So that's a fantastic one for acceptance and inclusion. Bob is a Unicorn. This is a very unique book. This is by Michelle Nelson Schmidt, which by the way, she is the author of all of the What If series. If you've seen those, we have four in that series. Um, she's the author of those as well. So Bob is a Unicorn. This is about Bob and Bob's actually an elephant. You find out at the end and he's basically playing pretend. He's trying to just like play pretend and say he's a unicorn. And all these animals are just basically <laughs> treating him like he's crazy. They're like, I don't have time to play with you. Like you're being silly. And then near the end, this fairy who you also find is just a girl pretending to be a fairy. She plays along with his game and they play together. So just again, I think it's another story about playing differently playing along with others and accepting differences. Let's go to play group. This one's not so in your face about acceptance and inclusion, but I love the diversity of this book. Um, again, it's another more like glossy paged, more durable book. And this is another one that I think is great for younger kids, a little bit more words, but really not much, right? Um, and so this just goes through a typical day at playgroup. There's little moments in it that I think are important to point out. Oh, I think it was right here. B is like inviting Billy to play. So I like that. Playing together. And then we are gonna see some sharing. So I like that. Okay, so playing together, sharing, like inviting kids to play. That's so important to teach inclusion. More sharing. 
So just little moments in there that I think are really relatable to young ones. Can I Join Your Club? Classic inclusion book. So amazing, so cool, great for all children. You guys, I love this one. So Duck is trying to join all these different clubs and they're not accepting Duck because he can't, he's not a lion or you know, he can't hiss like a snake or he can't roar like an elephant. I don't know, do you call it roaring? What do you call it for an elephant? So then he starts his own club, but then what's so cool is if someone wants to join the club, it says, do you want to be in a club with us? That's the only requirement for the application. And so application approved. So Duck includes everyone. Like, look how different everyone is in the club. Like, <laughs> so cool to be different. And then they have the best club, the most fun club. And then Duck obviously invites everyone else too that didn't accept him in the first place. Kindness, forgiveness, acceptance, how it's like cool and fun and popular to be different. I love all the lessons learned in Can I Join Your Club? Upside Down Sid. This is a story obviously about Sid. And Sid lives upside down. So there's acts of kindness in here and of course acceptance and inclusion as well. Sid kind of makes lives his own way and it says this is interesting to me as far as relating to an autistic child because Sid he likes being at home this part interests me so much he actually looked forward to his quiet time and I mean I know with Connor like he's probably gonna the way he is he's probably gonna grow up and really enjoy his quiet time and you guys know I've been doing a lot of research and listening to autistic adults the community and their voices and learning from them to better understand and my son and you know it's common for them to um, enjoy a little bit of downtime and isolation and I mean I'm an introvert so I can like relate at least a little bit so anyway he just enjoys that it says he can go about his business without too much fuss he doesn't have to try to fit in or you know fit into any mold and have to like maybe like mask when he's out and about right does that make sense so I just think that's so such an interesting uh, relation here so but sometimes obviously he's lonely he wants to have friends he wants help he meets his neighbors when they smashed his window and they're like going out and about and he's like wow like things are different I don't really fit in I can't do this I can't do that but he invites them over for lunch and things are a bit difficult because of how different they are but one day the neighbors decide to go in and they make everything in his house upside down and they have an upside down party so they have fun in Sid's way and help him to feel included so then he had these friends and they played together every day even though they played together differently so great story the perfect fit this book is like classic classic inclusion book so good it was a new title that i think was a january release this year I think this is such a cute little touch. Osborne books have cute touches at the beginnings and ends of books so often. So this is about shapes. Triangle is trying to play with different shapes and find where she could truly belong. So she felt kind of different and she felt like she was getting in their way. So she found some squares to play with and that was kind of fun, but then it kind of didn't work out. She was like ruining their game. <laughs> So then she plays with all of these different shapes and she's like, am I the only triangle? She felt so alone. And then she discovered her triangles and they played together so well. But everything fit perfectly. But then triangle wanted to play the other games that uh, she played with the other shapes. She was remembering how much fun they had together. So she thought, why don't we all play together? So all the other shapes were so excited and they all had a really fun time playing together. They found different ways to play together even despite their differences. And they had the most fun. Pink Lion. Pink Lion is a book we've had for quite a while. 
maybe you could call it a hidden gem at this point because it's really not a new title at all but it's great simple not a lot of text I love books like that so pink lion grows up with flamingos and the lions are like hey what are you doing there you're a lion and he's like what <laughs> he like didn't realize he was a lion so he tries out you know living with the lions and he like didn't really fit in he was different you know because he had flamingo habits so it wasn't really working out and then he just kind of felt like oh he didn't fit anywhere anymore right he just felt so different but then he uh, some of his lion came out to protect the flamingos from this crocodile and he was like oh my gosh like cool i really am a lion all the lions came and joined in and chased him away and then they all kind of uh accepted everyone's differences and they kind of did it all the ways you know you don't have to be one way or the other you can be your own way and be happy and everyone can accept you room on a rock is the last one i'll show you this one is so cool this is different than any other book we have because you read it forwards and you read it backwards so i'll show you just a little bit of it so when you read it forwards one way there's no room on our rock so they're saying nope can't come here there's no room no room on our rock it's ridiculous to say there's space for plenty more shoo go away you'll never hear us say you're welcome here this rock is ours go back to your own so there that gives you an idea and then when you get to the end it says no room on this rock can it be true read back to front for another point of view so I'll start about the same place. You know you can't go back to your own. This rock is ours. You're welcome here. You'll never hear us say, shoo, go away. There's space for plenty more. So it's ridiculous to say there's no room on our rock cool so obviously acceptance making room for people playing with other kids that is a lesson that can be learned from this book mm -hmm.